Hello YouTube, Annabelle56 here and here is my review of the second special issue uh, of the Doctor Who figurine collection. Okie dokie, we're going to start with the cover. This is the cover of the second special from the Doctor Who figurine collection and this is the cover of the first one. Now obviously the TARDIS has been around for 50 years so there's more information upon her but the front and back cover of this magazine are card it is worth noting they have silver mirror foil stuff at the top and special number one there design and you open it out and that's what it is so and it's also thicker which is obvious because, I mean, the TARDIS has been around for 50 years. This is the Slovene one. It is the same size as a regular magazine. Um, it doesn't have the silver mirror foil at the top. It just has special issue. It doesn't have a number there, which I think is really sloppy because they could have at least put special issue 2 next to it. To let you know that it was a double. And they could have at least done the front cover in card. Like this one. Because that one's got the tires on the back. And that one's got the Slovene on the back. So at least there's some uniformity there. But that's just me griping about the magazine. Okie dokie. The Slovene. Uh, ninth Doctor story. World War 3. London Invasion. And it's Christopher Eccleston. Ninth Doctor. Here we go. Contents. You've got the Slovene. A moment in time we are family. 50 years of Doctor Who Bad Wolf timeline. Doctor Who Universe London Calling. Your questions ask the people who. The Slovene. So it is just exactly like a regular magazine. This one. It's not a lot of difference at all when compared to this one and it just goes on and on and on because this one you've got your figurine which you've got here your figurine this is the figurine there moment in time basically run uh 50 years of the tardis where the heart is how to fly the tardis inside the spaceship box of tricks a thing that looks like a police box Bigger, the bigger asks your questions answers the people who so there's clearly a lot more information on the TARDIS I mean it is a fifth I think it's like the oldest spaceship in a television series and possibly the oldest spaceship in science fiction which is quite shocking when I recently thought about it but it is um the Slovene, they were only um, sort of in the Ninth Doctor's era and a little bit in the Tenth, maybe. I don't... Yes. No. Yes. They were... No, I don't think they were with Ten. I'd have to check that. But I'm... I don't think so. So, so hence why it is kind of like a smaller thing. Okay, this is the packaging. Got Doctor Who logo, Special 2. So they bothered to do it there. On this, just not on the magazine. Sorry. Uh, ninth Doctor. Doctor Who logo. Legal garb. Turn it over. And it's like that. Um, the TARDIS and Slytherin packaging. It's pretty similar. Same size. See, on this one, it's special one, the TARDIS. Eleventh Doctor. It's TARDIS. I thought I'd just do a little comparison there. Okay, so this is the TARDIS. It's beautifully done. Very nice, lovely. This is the Slovene. It just looks like a bigger... There's the Ice Warrior, just for comparison. TARDIS in the background. Just to compare. Slovene's base is a hexagon. And... To be absolutely honest, the base is a tad rushed, I feel. Because you can see 
Well, I can see just here where they've sort of slotted it in and it's a bit rushed. But the actual figure of the Slovene, I think, is really well done. It's nice. Perhaps it could have done with maybe a darker wash, but they managed to get a nice effect here. And it's well sculpted. For a farting alien, I mean. It is. And it is an original. I mean, look at the little, cute little tail. Yeah, for an alien that farts, I mean. What can you say? It's not one of the most grown-up Doctor Who monsters. But then again, it's cute. It appeals to kids. And it's green. There aren't enough green monsters. So... Space is just a larger version of one of these. And in all honesty, I think that they wanted to do the Slitheen as one of these figures, but realised it was just too fat, so they decided to make it a special, which is fair enough. But the base could have had a little bit of better care taken with it. And they could have at least put cardboard on the fr front and back of the magazine. I appreciate that they didn't have a lot of info to go on. And I appreciate why it has got um, its own special because it is a ninth Doctor monster and they wanted to sort of honour that era seeing as it only had one series which is fair enough but I mean they could have done the Jagrafess that would have been cool you know there's so many monsters to pick or the werewolf that would have been nice well the Slitheen isn't but I mean the Slitheen is an original new Who monster so I guess that's why they've gone with it that and it's kind of funny when it makes farting sounds if you're like under seven. And googly eyes. So yeah, there it is. Put the fourth doctor next to it. So I mean, ah! Like, classic meets new who. Quite literally. And the ice warrior here is just beautiful. Really like him. He's just worth it. Hmm. So yeah, I will actually put Slovenia on cheese board. So I'm just going to go over here and grab cheese board and get that. And put it on, just because we can. So there he is. Rotating nicely. There we go. There you go. Look at the fourth doctor. I mean, he really is awesome. They've done a great job, I think, with these figures, apart from the base on this one. Yeah, yeah. Fourth Doctor there, the detail really does stand out. I just hope that you like this sort of look at them. Just get them out. Spin them a bit. Yeah, so that's basically it. And I will leave you with these three. Give him one last spin for you. Whee! Yeah. yeah. So, it is, it's pretty awesome. Um, as I say, there are a couple of things to be said about the mag magazine, but then again, Christopher Eccleston was only in for one season. And actually, a lot of people moan and complain and, and gripe about, oh, I only did one season. And I'm like, well, actually, the season that he did do was excellent quality quality was really good got us back understanding dot who got it up to date was really well written and i actually think that the whole idea of him coming and going actually gets everybody used to the idea of regeneration so he did a really huge job and i'm actually quite grateful that he only did one season not that he was a bad doctor because i think he was an excellent doctor he was understated but he was also wacky but he was 
not over the top with it. It was really, really good. He brought that lovely gravitas to it and, and just made it beautiful. But I think that, that that actually adds something to it because we have a season where it's kind of like the beginner's guide to Doctor Who with Christopher Eccleston as the Doctor, which is pretty much what it was for a modern audience who, let's face it, hadn't treated like the sixth or the seventh Doctor particularly well when they aired. So, yeah, OK, rant over. Slovene, it's a nice figure. Could do with losing 300 pounds. Bye.